Land is strictly linked to Austria. A new organ, in fact, has enriched the land of the Fifth Gospel and in particular the Basilica of the Holy Sepulchre, Harmony Without Limits. Built in Austria at the headquarters of the Rieger Company, it faced many difficulties before arriving at its final location, Mount Calvary. As you can see, I am still sweating very much because we just lifted up the small organ and it was a very, very tight work. So we had just a few millimeters left and we had, it was real hard work, but we had very, very good helpers. And so we could manage it to bring it up to Calvaria. 266 pipes, different types of wood, details in gold. This little gem was created by the skilled hands of these organ builders a new instrument that has become part of the center of the faith of all Christendom. So we, the organ was built in Austria, completely set up. It was tuned and voiced and um, put completely together. We then took it apart, put all the pipes into boxes, packed them, wrapped them, uh, for a secure and safe shipment mm -hmm. to Israel. A unique feature of its kind, a keyboard made entirely from olive wood from Gethsemane. È un organo che è composto da cinque registri. This organ is composed of five pipe divisions. The first keyboard makes a solemn and loud sound. The second keyboard accompanies the choral singing as well as the solo singing. La seconda tastiera proprio per accompagnare il canto corale e anche il canto del solista. The presence of this new organ provided by the status quo Ottoman Furman of 1852 is of fundamental importance and it is located in the interior of the Basilica of the Resurrection. Eh, secondo le norme dello status quo è un diritto che abbiamo According to the rules of the status quo, we in the Latin Patriarchate have the right to have the instrument to accompany the liturgical chant, the Mass, and any liturgical act. The organ must complete the ceremony and must be heard here at the Calvary and elsewhere. Deve riempire la ceremonia e deve essere anche uno strumento che si possa sentire sia qua nel Calvario sia altrove. A valuable partnership that led to the renovation and restoration of organs of various basilicas from Nazareth to Bethlehem like the convent of St. Savior in Jerusalem and the Holy Sepulchre. An instrument, a symbol, because who sings, St. Augustine said, prays twice. Perché quando l'organo comincia a suonare when the organ is being played, it will hold a few rules. The status quo says that this space is transformed in the choir. The sound of the organ in the Holy Sepulchre is very important because it limits the time of the celebration. The organ thus delimits the beginning and the end of the celebration. Il suono dell'organo limita il tempo della celebrazione. And, uh, At the crack of dawn on Friday, October 21, in a Jerusalem still wrapped in sleep, the notes from this small but powerful instrument sounded sweet and delicate, a votive mass to echo a new melody among these ancient stones. The new organ, I would say, is especially important because it is the first time that an organ arrives on Mount Calvary and contributes to a more harmonious and solemn liturgy. It is important because it was built by a great company, the Rieger Company. A new musical instrument that was built with the help of many Austrian benefactors, a historic collaboration that links this European country to the custody of the Holy Land. We are very happy and also filled with gratitude because this would not have been possible without the help and generosity of our benefactors and friends of the Holy Land. The stage that began 30 years ago with the old organ of the Holy Sepulchre concludes today with this organ. 
questo organetto per il Calvario. Mi pare che l'organo sia anche un bel simbolo della riconciliazione perché... It seems to me that the organ is also a beautiful symbol of reconciliation. So many different pipes playing together to create a melody. So our hope is that the melody of mercy and reconciliation will resonate not only at Calvary but from Calvary over the whole church and over all mankind. Suonare sopra tutta la chiesa e sopra tutta l'umanità.